What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today, as you can tell, we have another lighting video. So I am going to be uh, installing the dual 40 inch light bar setup from m &R Lighting. Um, again, everything will be linked down below. And um, I'm going to be swapping out the, well I already took out the Lace Fit 22 inch bar um, that I made a video on uh, previously. And um, I'm gonna be installing these dual 40 inchers One's white, one is amber. So I sort of teamed up with m &R, um, got a hold of them, and um, I came across their, their products um, on various Facebook groups. Um, they were posting these light bars, and I'm like, wow, those look pretty cool. So I hit them up and tried to see what they could do, you know, and they were awesome enough to um, hit me with a 10% discount code. Uh, so the discount code will be down below. So guys, feel free to use it. And if you like, you know, how this looks and the output and stuff like that, um, definitely use the discount code and save yourself a few bucks. Now, there is a single 40 inch option too. So there is an option. You don't have to do the duals. Um, there's a single on there as well. Now, the dual 40 inch setup will only work on the fifth gens, uh, non TRXs. There is a TRX option, but only the single row. 40 inch will fit in a TRX. So if you have a fifth gen non TRX, you can run the duals or the single, and TRX is single only. So without further ado, let's get these guys installed and uh, we'll wait for dark and see how they look at night. And uh, one other thing I do want to mention is they do have a backlit option as well. So um, I did not opt for that, but it's an extra, I don't know, I think I want to say it's like 30 bucks for a backlit option. One thing I don't want to forget to mention is when you buy this kit, it does not come with a wiring harness. Um, in the description, there is a link to an Amazon wiring harness um, on his site that you can buy. I will put a link down below to the wiring harness that I bought off Amazon. Um, so his wiring harness, um, or the, the link to the wiring harness on his site, has uh, two switches. So it's one harness for both light bars. You can turn them both on or have you know, either amber or either white on. The ones that I bought have an actual connector and I'm gonna have two separate switches, but um, I'd rather have a solid connection uh, than the spade connectors that would come on the Amazon harness that's linked in his um, description. So you can use whatever one you want. Um, I prefer to use the one that I will have linked down below because again, it's got a solid uh, DT, uh, uh, connector um, it's gonna be watertight and uh, stuff like that so you can choose whatever you want to do um, but I figure I would add that just so you guys know everything will be linked down below and uh, I'm super excited to get this installed and I hope that this will be a go-to um, lighting setup for us fifth gen guys and uh, again with it being 40 inches it's going to go it's going to fill the entire um, lower grill instead of just being in the center so um, I'm excited for the output, and uh, yeah, let's get this thing installed. So let's take a closer look at the light bars. They're actually really thin and uh, small. They don't weigh much. Um, I thought they were gonna be a lot thicker and bigger. Um, so here are the two light bars. So this one is the white one. This one is the amber one. You can tell by the amber diodes in there. Um, you get a couple brackets and some hardware. So. And as far as the wiring goes, you have a positive and a negative. All right, guys, so moving on to the truck here to get these brackets installed. There is a 13 millimeter bolt right here. This is a bracket. You remove that one. This is the original one. You remove this bolt and you install this bolt, the stainless bolt that comes with the kit. Make sure you put the lock washer on. This is also a 13 millimeter. This will thread directly through the OEM bracket. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten this 13 millimeter down. Just like that. And then we're gonna take our supplied um, light bar bracket. We're gonna put it through the front. And this bolt, I can't show you, but this bolt, there's about uh, about an inch, inch and a half sticking out on the other side. This 
is going to slide onto the other side of this bolt and then you're going to hold the bracket on with this nut Shit. now what I would do first before you get both brackets on is get your light bars in here um, so I'm gonna go slide it all the way to the right and then I'm gonna stick this um, far end here through this middle opening slide it through like so kind of have to force it over a little bit just like that and now that we got them both in here we just lay them down and uh, worry about the wiring after but you get like six feet of it so there's plenty of wiring here plus your harness um, we'll go ahead and Get the other bracket on the uh, left side in and hook these light bars into these brackets line everything up tighten it down and uh, we'll see what it looks like all right guys so here's what the brackets look like installed uh, make sure you have it on this way with the L pointing inside, not outside. If that makes sense. But use this for reference, that's how it should look. Like that. And there's the uh, nut right there that we installed. And now we will go ahead and mount the light bars inside here. So, for the mounting hardware for the light bars themselves, they're uh, again a 13 millimeter and a washer. This part's going to be a little bit more challenging um, just because you can't really get your hand around the outside to tighten these bolts down. But kind of be a, it's probably gonna be a little bit iffy on camera to show you this but I mean you get the idea you got the uh, you got the the slot here um, each end of the light bar goes in this you know goes on the outside of the slot and then uh, the bolt goes on the other side of the slot into the threaded portion of the light bar on the on the side there there I guess so there they are installed. Um, they're just going to butt right up to each other. And uh, as far as wiring goes, how I routed that, um, I just put both cables that you see here through this little hole. And um, I haven't done it yet, but I'm just going to I'm just going to zip tie them up along this wiring harness, and we will wire it in up there under the hood. So you're going to come through here to tighten your light bars it's kind of a pain uh, really tight to get up in here um, I've had much success using my uh, battery ratchet and a long uh, 13 millimeter socket um, I was able to get in there tighten and loosen and uh, line these up to the uh, to make them look even um, from the front Let's show you real quick where they are Alright guys, so there they are installed. Um, in case you're wondering, yes, this will absolutely work with parking sensors. There's about half an inch between the light bars themselves and the uh, plug on the parking sensor. So 100% will work with parking sensors. Um, next up, we will go ahead and get these wired in. And uh, once it gets darker out, we'll go through the normal routine, the normal uh, lighting install routine. And uh, we will see how they look. Um, in the dark.
guys. So for the wiring, um, I'm going to make this extremely simple as it is already simple. Um, so off the light bar, you're going to have a positive and a negative wire. Um, if you have one with a backlight option, you're going to have a third wire. That third wire is going to go to an accessory um, in the fuse box, something that will power the, the, uh, the backlight on when the ignition is on. Um, but in this case, I just have a positive and a negative. So the harnesses that I am using from Amazon, obviously will be linked down below. Um, in that package or with that harness, you will get this plug end here like this. And on the other side of the harness is going to have a plug that's already wired in. So it, this is going to give us a really nice um, weather tight uh, connection and uh, we won't have to worry about corrosion or anything like that. But I do highly recommend you guys use some dielectric grease in all of these plugs everywhere um, just to make it even more weather tight because again it is you know it's a really cheap harness so um, I'm sure it'll corrode fast so just do yourselves a favor and uh, dielectric grease all your connections here so um, really all you're gonna need are a few butt connectors this is gonna give us a really solid um, weather tight uh, connection again when we go from the uh, light bar to this plug. So um, I'm going to get these crimped and heat shrunk and I'll show you how I wired in or where I put the wires for the switch. So again, extremely simple. Your plug wired into the um, light bar harness here and run your uh, switch inside the truck and then obviously you got the positive and negative from the uh, harness. And just like that, we have made a plug. Now, uh, take a lighter or some sort of open flame source here and um, melt everything together. And there we have it. If you want to get really fancy, you can tape this up nicely so it looks... Uh, it looks clean, but um, I'll probably just do that off camera. So we have just made a plug. Now all we do is plug it in just like this. And we should have um, power uh, going to the light bar. So this is nice. You know, if you ever wanted to unplug it, use it on some another vehicle, sell it, whatever. You, now you have a plug. All right, so never mind the mess of switches down here. Um, I'm going to get this all cleaned up here in a minute, but... I just plumbed the wiring through this boot right here. All right, see it coming through the, the firewall right there. So I would advise keeping the plugs inside the truck because there's a lot of exposed um, wiring and stuff. So it'll keep it'll keep those connections uh, safe from the elements. So there's plenty of wiring. So uh, that's actually really nice that there's so much wiring that you can actually keep the plugs for the switches inside the truck. So that's how I ran those. And I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, get a uh, lace fit switch um, switch pod or whatever. Um, they're pretty cheap and it'll just clean up all this wiring, less switches, stuff like that. And then as far as under the hood goes, I still have a lot of tidying up to do here, but... Um, I just wanted to show you guys the uh, the, the way I wired it in, um, and if you didn't know how to do it, now you do. Uh, just need some wire crimpers, cutters, uh, you know, insulation removal tool, and uh, a couple butt connectors, and you're on your way. Mm -hmm. 